Okay, we're recording. All right. Um. Well, morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's cast time once again, and um, this time, um, I'm actually going really, really old school. Um, this is, I'm just gonna do it the way I did it when I first start when I started doing these casts for the very first time. Uh, I'm just gonna play some music, and that's it. Like this is all I'm gonna do is have some background music, no video or anything. So just some music and me talking. And the name of it is uh, either Galore or Jalore, the Candlelight Tomes. Um, I, I don't, this might have come out yesterday, or at any rate, it came out very, very recently. So, I'm just going to go ahead and throw this on. Uh, but otherwise, I don't really have a whole lot. Um, didn't do a whole lot. Oh, whoa, 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 let me stop. I'm gonna crack open a can of V8 Energy orange pineapple flavored, so get ready for some pops. And I'm down to my last two or three cans. So, like I've said in other casts, I am, I am trying to phase these up because they're so expensive. So, and I will be going with, uh, from going forward after that, it'll be Arizona green tea. Specifically, zero. That's the sugar-free stuff. Uh, but, otherwise, to start with, uh, they turn, they turn the heat on. They turned the heat on today, or yesterday. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was yesterday. They turned it on yesterday. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Um, yeah, um, shortly after I, shortly, shortly after I posted up my Friday blog post, um, all of a sudden I just started hearing the heaters start, the heaters in my apartment started up and just, you know, got all, kind of hear it all bubbling and stuff and I'm like, yeah! Now, if only it would have happened sooner and, and yes, I am using a soundboard right now, so, but, Anyway, um, so glad that's going. That means I don't have to I don't have to stream while uh, wearing a hoodie. Um, I can still wear my shorts, so I not have to run around with uh, sweatpants. But but uh, otherwise, um, aside from that, didn't really do a whole lot. Had a really rough night last night. Um, just big freight load. Uh, the bat. The back's pretty tore up. The the feet are still uh, they're still, for lack of a better word, tender. I mean, it's not like super painful or anything like that, but I, I do feel a little bit of soreness now when walking. So, so yeah. Um. So, as a result of that, mostly just loafed around, loafed around, lazed around. Um. Took a nap or two here and there. Um, but what one, one thing I did do, um, just for for those that have seen me stream a game called Gems of War, I'm getting the same level of frustration as I did when playing pinball. So and I need a I gotta look at my uh, I gotta sound check this real quick. It's starting to sound a little loud. Yeah, I'll go ahead and turn that down a little bit. There we go. But, um, yeah, same with, pen, you know, just getting the same kind of, uh, frustration with Gems of War that I did with Pinball. Um, it's, I, I can't think of a better way to say it, so I'll, I'll say it plainly. It's both good and bad. So it, yeah, I'm trying to find the right words right now. I, I, it's hard to say without, without coming off sound like, why? Well, I, I love it when my opponent fucks me over and I have no chance to defend myself. It's great! No, it... But anyway... Since the majority of the time that I've been... That I've been playing and streaming Gems of War has been, for the most part, farming. Just grinding, um, doing, you know... 
doing not so difficult type, not as difficult type stuff, just, you know, trying to get the currency and all that, leveling up. Um, I thought I'd go ahead and do something like super duper challenging. This game has what are called explore runs. It, it just, oh, how can I explain it? I guess, um, I guess, um, farming. Kind of, kind of an equivalent of farming runs. And you could, Diablo 3, that's what I was looking for. Um, the explore, the explore modes that you can do in Gems of War are almost like the kind of run, the uh, adventure runs you can do in Diablo 3. You can, um, you can set the difficulty however high you want, um, anywhere between difficulty 1 all the way up to difficulty 12. So, what I thought I'd go ahead and do it's just, you know, all this frustration that I've been feeling. You know, the, the frustrating moments I've been having when grinding. I thought I'd just go ahead and um, just do a run with the difficulty jacked up all the way up as high as it can go. Level 12. Just fuck it. You know, just... Just charge right on, charge right on in. Do the hard shit. Um, and I told... I told myself, and I, I made a video of this, I said in the video too, that if I could complete this run with with uh, enemies that are vastly overpowered, more powerful than I am, if I could charge, if I could beat this just once, then that'll blow me out. That'll, I'll, I'll stop complaining about the bad drops I get. You know, the, the constant complaining. So... But, in the end though, um, aside from a few hair-raising moments here and there, uh, just, you know, one of my guys, you know, lost a couple guys here and there, and, you know, had a few key debuffs on me that kept me from doing anything. I was basically hamstrung. Um, you know, and, um, and just, uh, and just, you know, one or two. Retard! What the fuck? Moments, I won, I beat it. So, so yeah. Um. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. <laughs> now here's the button I was looking for. Yeah, I, but yeah, I won. So, um, going forward, going forward, um, I really have no reason to. I have really, I have really have no reason to get mad now. When our shit like this happens, you know. So just, un unless it's like a, unless it's like a totally completely lopsided, a totally completely lopsided match. Then yeah, uh. You know, so there's no point in me complaining now. And um, I also thought about this too. I don't want to. Usually, when I stream pinball these days, I've also started playing a game called Zachariah Pinball. Okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta take a drink here. I'm getting hoarse. Um, but, yeah, because Zachariah Pinball, the tables on there are legitimately hard. And a lot of these tables in Zachariah... Oh, let me back up a bit. Um, Zachariah Pinball is a company that's based in Italy. Not America. Not the United States. So, they tend to do things differently. Um, there, a lot of their tables are what I'd like to call true retro like they're, like I'd say I'm talking. I'd say maybe like the, like tables back in the 40s and 50s where, I swear to God they were all designed by Rube Goldberg. Just, I mean a lot of them break from tradition. They don't have the traditional, two flippers and an in lane and an out lane and, and all that kind of stuff. Like it just, everything's just like all jumbled up. It's a big old clusterfuck and all that. I mean. So, but I mean, these, like I said, these tables on here are legitimately hard. 
But see, the thing of it is, is with challenging tables like these, I don't get mad. You know, I don't get mad with these kind of tables because they're, again, they're harder. It's not like, um, it's not like today's tables, especially the modern ones here in America. Everything is clear cut. You know what to aim for. Everything's, you know, there's, uh, the, you know, a lot of them have flashing lights. These indicate the shots that you have to make. You know, the more modern tables that have voices. You know, they'll have shoot the left ramp. That I think that's where a lot of the frustration comes in with playing pinball. You know. Hit the right saucer for multi-ball. You know, okay, I have to hit the right saucer. Damn it, I wish. Uh. You know, well, here, let me make the shot. Oh, damn it, I missed. Here, let me try again. Nope, let me try again. Nope. Oh, missed again. Oh, never try again. Oh, oh, missed again. Damn it. Oh. Nope. But you kind of get the idea, though. You know, it's, it's, everything is, everything is clear cut on these tables. I know, it tells you what you have to hit. I know what you have to hit. But on Zachariah tables, there really isn't, there really isn't much of a, there aren't really any clear objectives to them. So, I mean, you'd be lucky just to get a flipper on the damn ball because of how goofed up these tables look. So, not, so that's, I think that was, a, that was the same reasoning I had when playing Gems of War while trying to do a run on the highest possible difficulty level. You know, it just, you know, I'm sitting here getting frustrated over grinding content. Let's see how frustrated I get when I do the super difficult stuff. I mean, granted, it... I mean, you know, I mean, the the adrenaline, for lack of a better word, I mean, it's kind of up there because I'm doing, I'm fighting monsters that could basically kill me in one or two hits, you know? But yeah, um, but yeah, like I said, going forward, when playing Gems of War, and to a lesser extent, pinball, um, I'm I'm not gonna complain. Not gonna complain when I get a bad drop. I have no reason to now. Cause if I can do if I can do it on the hardest difficulty setting, then I I really have no reason to piss moan when I when things start going when thing, things start going south on the lower tiered stuff unless i have a very good reason to do so like i said a few minutes ago like if if i'm getting nothing but bad drops drop nothing but bad drops and my opponent is getting nothing but good drops and okay then yeah i'll go ahead and uh, i'll take a mulligan i'll just do a restart saying so, that was another thing when i did this uh, when i did this super challenge run I don't, I don't recall me ever having, I don't recall me ever having to do a restart, you know. You know, I don't, didn't have to do a single restart, so that was another thing. So it looks like, um, what am I, um, what are my regulars? He's practically my coach as well. Um, DJ Screw, and he's got a number at the end of his name. But yeah, Ed, but it, it took me doing this, uh, it took me doing this, this challenge run to realize what he's been saying all this time. Don't worry about it. Don't give up. You know, I've come back from worse, but I think now that I think about it, I hear that. I think that was just, um, part of that was conditioning. I know he was trying to help me, but I think for the most part, it, it kind of got annoying, but... I also come from playing, you know, play online gaming and MMOs for so many years. You know, it just, it's, I've conditioned myself to where you hear it so many times. I hear it so many times. And 90% of the time, they're often full of shit. You know, just pull the whole room, Tank. We got your back. Sorry if you don't understand what I'm talking about, but I just, I'll just get it out. You know, 
just pull everything, Tank. You know, quit going so slow. So I pull the whole room, things go sideways, and it ends up in a group wipe, and I end up being called a shitty player because of it. So, going through that kind of, you know, going through traumatic stuff like that, yeah, I, you know, it, any anytime somebody says something like that, it, I already know, you know, you know, I already, I pretty much already know what they're going to say next. Like, Man, we shouldn't be wiping at this kind of content. Man, I run this stuff naked. You know, so... But again, it... This, this was also... This was also one of the reasons why I went ahead and did the Super Challenge run. You know, just to... You know, just... To see if I can do it. And part of that too is, uh, in case I've forgotten to mention, I wanted to kind of, again, for, for lack of a better phrase, I wanted to kind of blow myself out as well because I hadn't really done anything super hard aside from PvP, but PvP in this game is kind of its own animal. Kind of like pinball. It's like apples and oranges. So the, the challenge run I did was PvE content. So, but, you know, cause again, I, up until now, I've just been doing nothing but grindy stuff. Hang on, I gotta take another drink. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. And I totally forgot what I was going to say. Okay, but, um, otherwise, yeah, I, yeah, I think that's it. Um, so, just, uh, thanks for, thanks a lot for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And, um, and I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning and, and hopefully I should be able to do something else other than slobbing, napping, and playing Gems of War 2. But again, um, pretty rough week, especially Friday night. So not really much of a condition to, to do anything else. So, but, uh, but until then, though, uh, uh, just thanks for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. And bye for now.